All right, welcome to Tilt Trek. There's an old phrase coming from vaudeville that says, will it play in Peoria? Well, we're about to find out. This is our pilot version of Tilt Trek, and we happen to be at a newly minted Stern Army location, Gone Axe Drawing. Will it play in Peoria? We're gonna find out as we step into Gone Axe Drawing. See you inside. All right, as we pop up the stairs, we get our check-in counter. Hi, guys. And as you can see, this place is good size. Plenty of axe drawing lanes. Let's go visit the lounge bar. area. Not every pinball place has a lounge area. And then we get to get to the bar. Friendly bartenders, even though he's working hard. Look at that. Yeah, with plenty of taps, full bar, and full kitchen with great, great food. And of course, there's pinball, and not just any pinball. Look at that. We've got Willy Wonka, a Godzilla Premium, a Mandalorian Premium, sitting next to a Stranger Things Alley, another Premium, and the great music section of the room which includes three great pins guns and roses rush and led zeppelin all right i'm with matt ruder and matt you were the proud owner of gone axe throwing yet we're here to play pinball tell me about this i i'm fascinated um so this has always been a dream for me uh i've always liked pinball and um, we opened Gone Axe Throwing in 2019, and one of the check boxes that I had on there is that we had to have pinball. It took a lot of convincing to convince my partner and my, my wife, you know, to uh, get pinballs, and we started off with a few, and then I just couldn't find any, and then I bought a whole bunch of pinballs, so I've got nine of them now. Uh, I own all of them, and it's come to a head and now I have nine pinballs. We're starting to do tournaments. We're looking into doing a league. So uh, I just wanted to bring something to central Illinois because pinball is kind of dead in this area. So it really is, it really is. And so you're also a Stern Army location yeah, Yes, there? I am a Stern Army. They have yet to send me all my information, but I'm supposedly in the Stern Army. So yes. That, that's really cool. I mean, that's really bringing them Pinball into so you talked about having tournaments and league play and stuff like that. Um, you had a uh, tournament, your first one. How did it go? Uh, it went exceptionally well. We didn't have any problems really. We had just a small minor one, but uh, that one was April first, so April Fool's Day. Uh, we had twenty-two people that signed up for it, and I think the prize giveaway was the for first place. I think it was like. 40 some dollars is what it was. So it went very well. Yeah, and that's pretty brilliant because of the fact that you've got it set up just beautifully. It's, it's $5 to get in. We get the, all the games that are on free play. Yep. So you really just, I mean, you, you can't go wrong. It was a, a, a great value and a great time and great people. And, uh, and it really, it went well. In fact, one of the things that worked well was I see on a lot of your promotional stuff and so on. It always says Red Hat Productions. And uh, and I didn't understand it. I'm hoping to understand it by the time we're done with this conversation. But I will tell you, the Red Hat made it very easy to find the guy who was running the event. Yes, I'm because like, I've well, always got it on. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, where's the... He's right over there with the big red hat on. So it's nice to see a tall guy with a red hat. But what, what's Red Hat Productions? Uh, actually, it's Red Hat Enterprises. Oh, Enterprises. Enterprise. Okay. So we formed that company. So my, my story is a little bit long, but we'll, we'll give you the short and sweet. So I started off with Haunt Scheduler. It's a scheduling software for haunted houses. So my passion is really with haunted houses. So we started that in 2014. I went to market with it and started selling it. And then we went to Dawn and 60 Escape Games, and that's when we formed Red Hat Enterprises. I always wore a red hat, and so I was like, just do Red Hat Enterprises. And the wife agreed with that and everything. So, um, and then 2018, 
Um, we decided that we were going to open axe throwing because we had been to a trade show and we saw it and we thought we could bring it to Peoria because we like that type of thing. Um, with the escape rooms, we wanted to bring something like that. Um, so we opened Dawn Axe Throwing in April 2nd of 2019, and that's how it all started. So Red Hat Enterprises, it's all of our companies under one umbrella is what that is. Gotcha. So it's not just to make it easy for me to find you and everybody in my own territory to apply to. So, pinball. It's truly that's why we're here. Um, but the pinball part, you've got nine games right now. If it plays in Peoria, that's always the question. Is you know, will it play in Peoria? And it seems like after your first tournament, it definitely is. It definitely what, is. What, what could that look like up here in this warehouse district? What, what kind of options does this let us for? Um, we've got some plans to possibly expand and bring something else to do, a couple things, but one of them is to. Um, possibly get up to 20 to 30 pinball machines because I'd really like to make this more of a social club so you can come with your friends and you have pinball you can do axe throwing the escape rooms will probably go away but then the other activities that we're talking about so it's more of a social gathering because just going to the bar yeah you can talk with people but now you have something to do and that's that's what I like seeing it's Super enjoyable to see people not on their phones and they're, they're conversing with each other and having, laughing and having a good time. Because we're spending too many time, too much time in front of that screen. Uh, I, you know, I, I think you're right. Every time I've ever been in this place, uh, you rarely see anybody ever on their phone. You know, they're, they're interacting, they're they're laughing. In fact, we ended up normally we would film something like this in front of pinball machines, but. It's already beginning to hop. You know, there's people getting here, they're talking, they're having a good time. Yep. And so it's nice to have this private Private room, room. yeah. It's, this is our private room, so it's something that you, uh, you can rent also, where you have a private experience. So you can have up to 16 people in here, so. And it's nice to have your guests or your group where if they're getting bored with the axe throwing or it's not their turn, they can go. Do a couple balls through the pinball, which is neat in a pinball location. The arcades of my youth were, you know, you were lucky if maybe you had candy behind the counter, uh, maybe a hot dog. That's been rotisserating for who knows how long. <laughs> All day. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but you actually have some great food here, also. Yeah, and we yes, we do. We've got quite a bit. We've got flatbreads. We've got wraps. We've got wings. Um, shrimp. Uh, some seafood baskets. So we kind of wanted to make it so it was diverse. And then we also have a full bar. So we have 20 taps. Uh, so we got 20 drafts on all the time and random bottled beer and full of liquor. So that is, that, that, that has been quite joyful also. So I, I know we found our way to that more than once. And uh, it's brilliant. And it really is a great selection of stuff to choose from. So. In the world of pinball, which right now is the machine that is playing the best in Peoria? What's your top earner? Do you have the stats on um, like that? Which I don't have them off hand, but um, I would say it's probably Godzilla or um, Mandalorian. Those seem to be pretty popular, um, and I really enjoy playing those two, even though I don't get to play these as much as I'd like to. But they seem to be the ones that I can get the most plays at the moment. So we do have a couple of Jersey Jacks. Those don't get as much play, but um, we do have them. So yeah, well, I notice you have your your music room over there. Yes, uh, which is just a fun lineup to be able to see Zeppelin sitting next to Rush, sitting next to. Uh, and it'd be nice if there was a Beatles there now too. It would be nice. I am a big fan of the Beatles table, yeah. so that is, a, that is a really good one. Well, I appreciate it. I love your place. We love to sing the LEs. We love to sing the premiums. We love to sing all the new machines that are just great ones to play, and yet, yet sing classically awesome ones like uh, uh, like Walking Dead, even if I was going to do with that one. It's just a great No, no, it, it's nice, and I'm always on the lookout, but, you know, things go up and down. It's... So we'll get there eventually. Absolutely. Well, 
Thank you so yeah, much for having us out here. Thank we you. really appreciate it. And everybody else, check it out. Gone Axe Drawing. Talk to Matt. He's in the red hat. So, <laughs> all right. Thanks, Matt. Yep, thank you. Someplace. Our goal is to go ahead and talk to the guy who is the man in this place. And from what I understand, we had a tur <laughs> we had the very first tournament in this new Stern Army location. Well, I don't know if I'm the man, but I was that night. That tournament was a lot of fun, too. It was really easy. Easy? Easy. You just jump in, they list you, they tell you what game you're playing, where you're going. You just go, oh. play your best, hop to the next one. I mean, anyone could do it. If you ever feel intimidated about getting in a tournament or anything, don't be. They're all great people. It's super easy. All the scores kept track for you. Because we were using match play. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Well, let's keep talking about it. I want to hear more about your first tournament, but <laughs> I want to get a chance to get my name up against the DDN. Oh, so we'll you get want to there. play a quick one? Sure. All right. Well, so so we had go ahead. It's your all machine. Right. So so DDN stands for short for Dennis. You got in your tournament. It just kept telling you everywhere to go. Um, do you think you're now a tournament guy? I mean, would you go to other tournaments if you knew they were in the area? Would you drive, for example, up to Chicago? Or what is your thoughts about being a tournament? I would definitely get in other tournaments. I don't know about driving to Chicago. Okay. But uh, that was my first tournament. And I've been playing over 40 years since we were children. And... Uh, I'd never really thought about getting into tournaments, but I figured we'd give it a shot and see what happens. And uh, it was really fun. All the people were really great, really friendly. So you, you won the, the, uh, the, the qualifiers all the way through. So you were what was known as driving the bus. I was, so, I was the points leader. So you were the points <laughs> leader, correct. And you, with, with that, you had a chance to go ahead and choose the game or choose your spot? What did you do? I chose the game. You chose the game. And yeah, what game did you choose? Playing order really doesn't matter that, that much to me. But uh, I chose Stranger Things because I've usually done really well on that game. And I actually came in last. <laughs> well, you came in yeah, last, came of, in the last. Of, of yeah. the four qualifiers. Yeah. And, and who happened to be the guy who won the whole thing. Oh, you, that guy that won it all, his name's Bob. He's my brother, <laughs> Bob O'Day. You'll know him if you see him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, how but, did that, uh, and how did how did that go? Did uh, uh, That went over well. He got his <laughs> chirps in. I was getting my chirps in all the way through. Oh yeah, we always have a good time. That's fun. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, and I'll be, I, as a, just an editor's note, I, I was at this tournament and I got to watch the, your brother, Bob, uh, mm -hmm. get a lot of happiness and joy out of the fact that he qualified like you did, but not in the same spot that you did, but yet at the end of it all, he was the, uh, <laughs> the big <laughs> tournament winner to... Uh, yes. Because normally, who normally wins between you and your brother? I mean, is it? It just depends on the night. I mean, sometimes you have a good night, sometimes you have a terrible night, and you just can't get anything going on any machine. And therein lies, you know, part of the luck aspect of it. If it allows you to have any time to play. Right. Everybody gets house balls, that's for sure. Absolutely. So, have you and your brother been playing for a long time? Have you been playing longer than him? I mean, when when do you remember getting into the hobby of, of, of pinball? We've been playing for the better part of 40 years, since before we could drive. Really? We used to ride our bicycles to go play pinball. That's awesome. Take two or three dollars with you and play as long as you can until when your money's all gone, you turn into the ball beggar. Come on, give me a ball, I'll win you a game. Give me a ball, I'll win you a game. <laughs> and, and, would, and, and, and would people take you up on that? Were you good back then also to the point where they would rarely. be Rarely. Like, My friends. I've heard rarely. the term ball beggar before, but I know I've ball been in that beggar. spot before. <laughs> it's like going, uh, I, I know so often oh. when we end up with a, an odd game, we'll do something like, I'll do first ball, you do second ball, and whoever scores better will play the 
play the third ball and stuff. Oh, yeah. Just as a way of going, I, I never, I, I know it's the best value when I put in $2, um, but it's always the challenge of going, it comes out as an odd number, and I'm sure that's sure. meant so that we drop more quarters into the slot. Mm -hmm. Um, but for me, that meant so often those were frequently my last dollars. So We've even played sides before. Have you ever played two people on a game, just have one flipper? I have. That's fine. That is I do that with my girlfriend a lot on the last <laughs> game, just so we can stand close to each other. Oh, look at I didn't realize. <laughs> so you're good at pinball and a romantic. How can you go wrong there? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, so, if you've been, if you like me, have been playing for forty some odd years. What are some of the first games that you remember taking your bicycle up and going oh, to go play? Some of the first games were like the Space Invaders machine, um, Elton John. Oh, Captain Fantastic! The original Kiss machine, I think, was there. Okay. Um, Oh, so long ago. That, that you enjoy the most. Are you a drop target guy? Are you a ramp guy? Are you a I, mech guy? What is, what, what is really, Dennis? I really like a captive ball. You like a captive ball? I like a captive ball. I'm a captive ball guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 we've now coined two terms. Oh, I, I ball beggar happen. and the cap. I, it's got to do a lot with balls, which is amazing to yes. me. So. Well, I am a man. So. <laughs> no, that's awesome because I, I, I try to think if, if I've ever been like, I, I mean, in Metallica, there's a great captive ball. Yes. You know, maybe I'm a captive ball guy too. That's that's mm -hmm. that's that's interesting. Metallica uh, has that nice little lane of drop targets too. Yeah. I think it's the coffin. I, 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 I'm a loop guy. I, I think there is just the something. Oh yeah, you give me an an outside loop, an inside loop. The more it gets, really, just get along that out, getting on that outside. Oh, if I, I can, understand completely. If, if I can repeat that, I just look mm -hmm. at that going, just "That's a game. game," you know. Ta da! Uh, exactly. Absolutely, that's what it's all about. And so. Uh, if, and we uh, feel really lucky that he's got all these new games here. This is by far shoulder, head and shoulders above anywhere else in this town to come play. You know what? This is place he, is head and shoulders over many places. I mean, he's got LEs. He's got most of these are premiums or better. So you you know you're definitely not looking at your standard routed type of machines. If you come up here to Gone X. You can lose on a really nice what? one. You, you get your name in again. Not again. This happens everywhere you oh, go. No. So congratulations, even while talking and me pointing the parts of the play field, you get a chance to put in... Den. Den as the Tom <laughs> Sawyer champion. Way to go. Absolute pleasure. Right. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Glenn. We really did enjoy it, so <laughs> All this right. is brilliant. We'll see you around at the next Great one. Sure. So what did we learn today? As we leave Gone Axe Drawing, what we realized is it does play in Peoria. We've heard about a great tournament. We heard people having a great time. I believe this is on the right course. Who would have thought a place known for axe drawing would be the next place to go to? It's like a modern day bowling alley, which reminds me of my youth. I think this is brilliant. I'm looking forward to traveling the country. I'm looking forward to coming out to places near you. Please join us on our journey. Remember to like and subscribe and enjoy Tilt Trek. We'll see you next time, guys. Thank you.